Philly Style wants to know, why no third-party O3 cameras yet? Uh, any whispers? Thanks for a $2 super chat, Philly Style. Um, Philly Style, the third-party Vista cameras like the Nebula Pro or the Runcam Phoenix and the Wasp and all those are cameras, they were made with DJI's consent. No one would have done that if DJI hadn't said, here's, you can do it and here's how. Okay? No one's going to make a third-party O3 camera until DJI says, we want you to make a third-party O3 camera. And DJI hasn't done that. And at this point, maybe they won't. I don't know. But there were reasons why DJI felt like it was beneficial to them to have Caddx making cameras for the Vista. And so that happened. That hasn't happened for the O3. That's the answer. I mean, someone might could make it. I don't know if there's some like cryptographic thing that would prevent anyone from doing it. But from a business perspective, they're not going to do it without DJI's permission because and you mess with DJI's hardware. I mean, I don't know. People make third party hardware for DJI stuff. DJI doesn't sue them. Maybe they just can't. I don't know. I don't actually know. Hmm. Cop. Piello FPV. Capiello, thank you for a ten dollars. Let's just see if Capiello left a question. I don't see a question attached to the super chat. Capiello. Capiello wants to know for GPS rescue, do I need to disable the barrow sensor if I already have a barrow on my GPS? Uh good question. I don't think you should need to. I mean, the flight controller is only going to use one of those barometers, pretty sure. Um, I've also heard of some people going into the command line and disabling the barometer uh, because they find that the barometer causes the altitude to fluctuate a lot, but the GPS altitude is more consistent. That surprised me because GPS altitude is not known for being terribly accurate, but at least one person emailed me and asked how to do that and... There apparently is a way to do it in the CLI. Uh, let me look at that. Is it here? Hmm. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can find this question. So just for posterity, Betaflight recommends always using a barrow. That is correct. Yep. Uh, well, phooey. Yep, I found it. So again, Belenti, you're correct. Betaflight recommends always using a barometer. Definitely. Uh, I'm going to show this conversation that I had with a person uh, and they asked, Hey, I just got the diatone Mamba Mark four in a GPS and it keeps, Oh, I see it's, I have it backwards. Sorry guys. That's why I wanted to check. Um, it keeps defaulting the GPS altitude, which is not as exact. He wants to use the barometer, not the GPS. So in the CLI, you can do set altitude source equals barrel only. Ah, I did have it backwards. No wonder that seemed wrong. It turns out it was wrong. <laughs> uh, and uh, that causes it to ignore the GPS altitude. And it's pretty accurate. Now, I don't know how you could choose which barometer you want it to use. The one on the GPS or the one on the, uh, on the, one on the flight controller. I just want to add as well, I posted in the Discord, uh, the Betaflight official info about the Barrow. It does say mm -hmm. for longer flights, the Barrow can get out of whack more than the GPS, and there's a trust value you can set to decide which it uses. So, A trust value. Again, this is GPS altitude versus Barrow, not I have two Barrows. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Um, continuing on. Badumts. Thank you for $7 Canadian. 
I meant the beginner kit with the controller, goggles, etc. to start and progress in real life sims to get until I get to buy a build kit with DJI plus I have DJI goggles already. Uh, what's the best starter kit? I see. So you want a beginner kit with controller and goggles and then you don't want to build your own. I see. But also well, he does have the DJI goggles already. He which I wonder which DJ I guess he has his goggles too or the V two. Does not say. Well, uh I mean, how are you gonna but he wants analog. Do you read this question as he wants analog? Plenty? Uh don't want the best analog or the cheapest. If he oh, has yeah, digital... that's tough. I don't know. I'm confused now. If he has I'm DJI not... goggles, he should just buy a DJI quad. I agree. I think the cost you'd okay. get for something like other than that is a little rough. So. Well, normally if somebody wants an all-in-one beginner kit with everything you need to get started, I steer them to Rotor Riot, and they have these starter kits. Unfortunately, though... They have stopped selling the DJI starter kits and they've gone hard. Oh, I'm wrong. Am I wrong? I'm obviously wrong. Boy, it's good to, it's good to catch yourself when you're wrong right at the beginning. So like maybe you could go with something like the Rotary tank five inch with, oh, you get the run cam link. So if you wanted to save a little money, you could get the run cam link or you could get the O3. 690 versus 614 so let's save a little money and you could get that with uh whatever receiver i would suggest express lrs and uh rotor riot will send that to you not the built-in tuned we want the starter kit fat shark hd five inch starter kit there we go that's what we want is the starter kit Oh no, but oh no, but they can't. Okay, so you gotta you gotta call them up. Rotor Riot will do this for you. Tell them, look, I want a starter kit. I already have my own goggles. I want you to sell me a starter kit with a O3 video transmitter in it, but everything else, the box or everything else, but I don't need the goggles. It's the nice thing about Rotor Riot, and is that they they'll just customize a kit for you like that. Would the iFlight kit be a better value? Uh, maybe. Right, some see. of the chat is suggesting the reason it's harder to find the kits is because it needs standard RID or something. That is not accurate. Rotor Riot is putting a statement on all their drones that they, where they claim that they do not need a uh, remote ID on their drones because you can. it's only for indoor use or in locations where you don't need remote ID. So anything you buy from Rotor Riot won't have standard remote ID. No, but nothing you, nothing you buy from iFlight will have standard remote ID either. Nothing you right, buy from anybody will have it. People are confused because of the whole kit situation. Like, that yeah. was the terminology in the... Yeah. So you could... So the problem is that the iFlight kits, if you already own the goggles, then I don't think you can buy the kit without the goggles. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's pick a kit like the... Uh, like the IH3 is a solid choice. Now, I, I actually like the Boxer better than the iFlight Commando. But the Commando's okay. Can I can I leave the goggles off? No. So the iFlight kit's going to be no good for you if you if you already have the goggles. So what I would what I would do, I mean is I would call up Rotor Riot customer service, contact them. Tell them you want to buy the five inch starter kit, but you already have a set of goggles and ask them to spec you out a build that has the correct video transmitter and then send it to you all ready to go. Obviously it won't be bound to your goggles, but you could do that yourself.